Here with Pitt Swimming and Diving head coach John Hargis after the backyard brawl here in West Virginia. Coach, the women with a dominant victory tonight, what were you happy with in their performance? They just came and raced, you know, driving down, climbing off a bus and racing a, a team like West Virginia, we knew they were going to be ready for us. And, and the women stepped up and, and, uh, and did a great job, competed, raced hard, had some pull records, which was always fun. But uh, again, they just, they, they, they set themselves up to have a dominant performance and that's what they did. You talked about the pull records, Val Dangyo, two pull records, and it's been two months since the team has competed in a dual meet. How, how were they able to come out and have some individual performances that were so strong? It was, you know, it was great. Uh, you know, we've been training and you, you race each other side by side every day. It was nice to race somebody in a different colored cap. And, and so I think they took advantage of that. And again, I think we've, we have some women that are, that are very anxious to get to February, March here championship season. And, and uh, it's showing a little bit. Wins in the distance freestyle. What did they do that impressed you tonight? Again, they competed in, their, in those races. I mean, Sammy's tough. I, you know, you can look through results. He hadn't lost many IM races all year long. He's, he's racing tough. He, he's uh, training tough. And he's just a fun kid to work with every day. And same with Set. Uh, Set had a, had a tough December from a training standpoint. I mean, we, as a distance kid, December's tough. And uh, he, he's getting through that. It's gotten through that now. And we're, we're on the cruise control in the championship season. And after a long wait between dual meets, don't have to wait long now. Tomorrow night at Trees Pool against Denison, Division Three Power. What are you looking for in that meet, which will be a, a sprint, unique kind of meet style? Yeah, we wanted to change it up a little bit. And uh, and Coach Greg Perini there has done an unbelievable job at Denison for I don't know how many years. And uh, it's always fun to race those guys every year. Last year they couldn't. They couldn't make it because actually of a snowstorm. So we're looking forward to getting them back in Trees Pool. And, and we tr tried to uh, mess with the format a little bit to go some shorter races. They wanted to do it. We knew we were coming off tonight, so it should be a fun meet. Here with Pitt Diving Head Coach Katie Hazelton after the Panthers competed against West Virginia today in the backyard brawl. Coach Mimi Sharp sets a full record in one meter diving. What were your thoughts on the meet? Um, overall with Mimi, she did awesome. She has had a strong three meter event and then obviously one meter she's looking really strong and um, putting some great dives and it's just becoming more and more consistent throughout the season. It's incredible coming off, you know, a couple of weeks off with no competition that Mimi was able to score 319 points to set the pool record here at West Virginia. What did you do in practice with the, the team over the couple of weeks off? Um, so with Mimi it's even more special because she actually has had a little bit of time off uh, because she just had a steroid injection in her back. Um, so we have been rehabbing that. So for her to come back and, and show what she can do, that makes me really excited about uh, what's going to happen come ACCs. Um, right now we're what I call the glitter phase of the season. So it's a really tough time for the divers. They're doing high volume of their hard dives, um, get those numbers under their belt, and then in the next couple of weeks, we'll start tapering down for ACCs. So right now is numbers, their bodies are a little sore, but we're starting to see the consistency improve. And then we'll become ACCs, we'll see some really sharp diving.